Tun tun. Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Mills. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And the reason why I did decide to get a new back rest, guys, is because I was having really, really bad back pain. And a long story, make it short, <laughs> I was fighting with my insurance company for a whole year just to get denied. I don't know why it took me so long for me to realize that they weren't gonna pay for it. You know that I should have just gone to the to um, the disability lab. And if you guys don't know who they are, make sure you hit them up. Check out their Instagram and hit up my boy Sammy. They will hook you up. And it took them two weeks for them to have my new backrest. So stay tuned and watch the process of how we removed my old backrest to my new backrest. Okay. So I'm a little concerned. So this is a seat. That's easy. I'm a little concerned about when we go to set this up with the back, the hard back, how this thing is set up. Because this is, this is an add-on. So we'll just have to see how that goes. But to remove, this is a soft back. So you remove the seat. And then to remove the soft back, all you do is there's a piece of, it's all Velcro, and you can grab the Velcro like that, and you just peel it up. And you see how this these side guards are designed to, to fit in there. You may have to work some magic to put the side guards back on because it's a different system. This is Tylite system that we're moving to. So you take this. Let's see, the easiest thing to do. So this is a soft back, right? And all this, this one happens to be the, uh, the air one, the mesh one, which is, by the way, the more expensive one. And you have a small, you have a thin cushion in here. But no support. But no support. The support comes from these back, you the, uh, It comes from these back webbing. So if you wanted it tighter, if you wanted it to be, if you want to be more upright, we would take this, peel this off, tighten it up, and then bring it in like that. So you see the difference? Yeah. So now you're you're more upright. If you want to be looser, and we would just do that all the way up and down the line. So that's how you adjust the soft back. But sometimes the soft back doesn't give you the lateral support side to side that you that you want from like a hard back, which is what we'll put on here. So I'm concerned about a couple of things. I'm concerned about this bar being so shallow. If you look at the way our bars are because they're for hard backs, they're much more round to fit the back. So we'll just we'll fit it and if we have to make some new brackets, we'll make some new brackets. So we're gonna take this off. This is just another support bar. Take this off. And now it's ready to put a hard back on. Okay. But this all adds weight. So hard backs are usually heavier, but you have a carbon fiber hard back. So this is the, one of the lightest ones you can put. And a privacy flag. So your hard back. Are we just that weight? You know what? It's not bad at all. Yeah. So then we'll mount this one right here. And then we can adjust the angle this way or this way. And we can adjust it. We can we get, we have a limited adjustment up and down because of this. It looks like we have we can go down to about there. Which is gonna be a little higher than where you were before. Okay? Alright, so this is a this is an ADI carbon fiber. So that's carbon fiber um, uh, hardback. This is the small one. This is the active thing. There, there, there is a deep one and a shallow one. The, the shallow one they call active. This is the shallow one. And then a deep one is four inches deep. This one's two and a half inches deep. So the other one's four inches deep. And that's for, if you have even less trunk control, you get the deeper one. Uh, and what's great about the carbon fiber is unlike the, the aluminum version of this one, it, the carbon fiber doesn't fatigue as much. And so these last forever and ever and ever, multiple chairs. This is the, what's called the two point pro mount. So you can mount it a, a bunch of different ways. 
this style mount gives you the most mounting options. When we clamp this down and we start uh, moving it back and forth, it gives you the most mounting options. With the least amount of weight. In your pass mount, your mount came up to here. Was that too high or too low? Or was that the right size? Okay. So you just want the rigidity of it. The new one will be a little bit higher. I'll try to drop it as much as possible to keep it as close to this as possible. So there's something called a privacy flap. There's something called a privacy flap. This is to cover your butt. And it fits, it locks in, it velcros underneath. And you know that you have the right side when the privacy flap goes down. Okay. You don't have to have this, but we just got it for you. If you don't want it, you that just it covers when you when you when you go to put your seat on, it just covers your butt. The butt crack. The butt crack. Exactly right. All right, so I'm gonna to try to mount it right about there. Is that cool? Yeah. That is good. Okay. So we go. So, if I were to mount this in reverse, put this in the back, I would put all of this too far forward, right? So if I mount it with this, let's say this was in the opposite direction, right? Then this would be so far forward, it'd be like you'd lose like a bunch of inches on your thing, right? Right. So I'm gonna mount it where. I'm gonna to try to keep these posts as close to the front as possible so that it feels like the same back, like it was in the same spot. And then we can make some adjustments from there. We can slide it up and down, we can um, we can uh, go, we can tilt it, we can slide it in and out. So up, down, in, out. Let me just hit, that's just the way guys are, right? Have you say that? Do you get hit on a lot? Um, before the pandemic, yeah, because that would yeah. be out more often. Right. Yeah. But uh, now, so I, I talk to a, a lot of guys here, and I, you know, people that come in, that people, guys in wheelchairs, and they're always like, no, I'm not going to date a girl that's in a wheelchair. Oh, yeah? Yeah, uh, so here's my question. Would you date a guy in a wheelchair? Um, or do you know. two also want. Well, I don't know, I'm assuming you date guys. <laughs> not on the video. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take it up, we'll take up audio. <laughs> I'm assuming you did guys, you did guys, right? Yeah. Because my daughter would be like, No, you can't assume that, Daddy. I don't date guys. I'm like, okay. <laughs> sort of inching it off, right? Yeah. So we basically want her like right there, just a little bit above that. So I'm just gonna. I'm going to clamp these two side clamps, which adjust the up and down, right? So this clamp here, tell me when you're ready. This clamp here goes, adjust the up and down, right? This clamp here adjusts the in and out this way, but also the tilt of the chair. So we're going to do the height first, because that's always the... There we go. That's as low as I'm going to be able to get that. So I'm just going to tighten it up over here. And I'm basically going to make everything sort of finger tight. It's going to be a little bit tighter than that, but. Okay, that's where I think you were. And then were you, when you sat, were you too far this way, too far this way? Too far that way. Too far back. Okay. You want a beer? No, I don't drink. Oh. You want two beers then? No, that's good. <laughs> no, Arabs are all about fluids. We all like, I, I mean, I'm telling everybody, you gotta get, you gotta offer water. And, well, we have water and beer. Those are the two things we got. So, water and beer. Yeah. Ooh, looking sharp. Yeah, right? Oh, but it's recording. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Very red. Right, I, 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 <coughs> me, 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 me. All right, you're gonna edit all that out, right? Okay, so these two, it's all, um, everything that's adjustable here is on a four millimeter hex key. Uh, that's what this is, four millimeters. And these two screws adjust 
this bracket, which adjusts up and down, okay? So we know we like it where we want it, so I'm just gonna tighten this up a little bit more. We're not making any changes, boom. And the way that I tighten is one screw, and then I tighten a little bit, and I go back and forth. And the reason why I do that is if you tighten one all the way down, it sort of screws, it doesn't, the clamp isn't, the, the trick about a clamp is it needs to be even across the whole surface. So if you tighten just one all the way down, you're never gonna get that one as tight. And so it won't be an even clamp all the way and it won't be as strong. Okay. So you do a little bit on one side, a little bit on the other, and then I don't make it super tight. Okay, and then the same thing over here. You liked where this was, so we're gonna tighten it a little bit, a little bit. And I notice I'm not even turning it that much. These are like half turn or quarter turns. And that's it. I'm just making it tight and tight. Yep. Okay. All right. So these two screws control up and down. These two screws control front and back. If you move the, if you loosen these both up, you can move this whole thing front to back along that track. Right. Okay. And the way we have it is you can see that, that this is a little bit farther back than the, than the bottom one. So that means this is slightly at an angle, slightly going back. Can you say that again? Okay. Because these two bolts are not upright, okay, that means, and this one, this top bolt is slightly farther, is farther back than this bolt. That means this backrest is slightly at an angle. If these were up above each other, they'd be straight. If this were forward, if this top one was forward of the bottom one, it would be tilted forward. Right. So, if you want to either shift the whole thing front and shift it back or shift the top front front and shift the bottom one back or front, then you still have to loosen both of these. So you would loosen it by, you know, I have this tightened, but you loosen it by loosening it up like that. And then you would make your adjustment then you would tighten it down. But since we have it where we want it, I'm just gonna tighten that. I gotta loosen this wheel because I can't get my tool in back there. So we're gonna loosen, we're gonna tighten this. And again, again, the same thing, I'm gonna tighten a little bit. We'll go to the next one, tighten a little bit. Can you see that? Go to the next one, there. So that's tight, okay? So what, it didn't take much. We're gonna do the same thing over here. We're going to pull this out a little bit so I can get my tool, so I can get the tool in there. So we're gonna, whoops, tighten. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to This is a lubricant. I'm just adding a little lubricant to them. What's it for? Uh, it's to make it go in and out easier. It'll just make getting your uh, wheels in and out um, faster, easier. Oh, I know, they're in for the video. You Oh, for the video? Yeah, it was just for the video, I was asking. So this is a dry lubricant, meaning when it dries, it won't feel like grease, it won't attract a lot of dust. Oh, okay. It's a dry lube. Meaning? Teflon. The same thing they use for cooking, for on cooking pans, for egg pans, right? To keep it from sticking. That's what's in here. So we, we actually are gonna start selling a kit. You wanna see it? Yeah. Okay, so this is top of the line bike stuff. Teflon dry lube, okay. Yeah. This is white lithium grease, grease with Teflon in it. And once I find an adapter, this is a grease needle, and uh, I need to adapt this to this. They don't screw in, but once you, you'll screw this on, and then you'll use this with this, and you can just put grease anywhere you oh, want. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, when so we're gonna sell, thing? well, I need to find the adapter. It oh, was okay. gonna pack them up and sell them today, but that's the whole kit for like, I don't know, 25 bucks or something. That's a bit. Okay, all right. So what's that for, Sammy? This is a, Modesty flap, privacy, it's for your butt. Everyone calls it a fart flap. <laughs>
This is to keep the farts in. Oh, I'm sorry, Mills. We're gonna have to fix that. I'm sorry. I have to get another one. It's okay. One. I'm sure you have plenty of those. Right? I do, but they're all in purple. I'll have to you find you a black one. Yeah. Well, I mean, purple's our color. All right, so we have burkaed your whole thing up here. Look at this. Look at how much burka we got going on here. All right, so. All right. We probably want these down first. Is that working? That is good. Those look good. Alright, let's get you in. See that's the that's the privacy part. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoy this video and the answer is yes. I did love my new backrest and my back does not hurt anymore. Knock on wood. Thank you for watching my video guys. See ya, don't wanna be ya.